Hi and welcome back, this is episode number 4 of this tutorial series slash crash course on ROS2. You can find the series playlist in the description. And let's get started. So you now have a ROS2 workspace which is correctly configured and where you will be able to write your code. But there is just one more thing we need to do before we can start actually to write a node. We need to create a package. So let's go to our ROS2 workspace in the source source directory, we have nothing for now. And we will actually write nodes inside packages. Okay, so packages will allow us to organize the code in a better way, also better organize the dependencies between packages. So let's see how to create a package. To create a package, well, first you go to the source directory of your workspace and you do ros2pkg and then create. Okay, ros2pkg create and then the name of the package. Let's go with my underscore robot controller. Make sure you don't use spaces, okay? If you want to have different words, use underscores. And so why do I name the package like that? Well, we're going to control, so if you remember the turtle sim robot in 2D that we have tried before, we're going to create a package and inside we're going to write some nodes to control this turtle. So that's gonna be a robot controller package. And why do I name it like this? Well, we're going to experiment with some nodes inside this package, and actually the final project of this crash course is to control a robot. So I'm just naming it controller. And I just put my robot. This is something that is quite common, is that if you create a package for a robot, you're gonna put the robot name first, and then what you want to do. So for example, it can be a controller, can be a camera driver, a navigation package, etc. And if your robot is named, let's say, C3PO, then you're going to have, for example, C3PO controller. That's a good practice to have. And then each package is going to be one sub part of your application. Okay, and the package can contain many nodes. Each node will be specific to this sub part. Okay, so here, if I have a robot controller, each node will be specific to the control of the robot. If I have a camera package, each node will be specific to the camera functionality. And then, of course, between packages, you can have dependency. You can say that package A depends on package B, depends on package C, etc. So what do we have for now? ROS2 PKG create name of the package. Now we will need to specify if this is a Python package or a C++ package, okay? So either we are going to write Python nodes or C++ nodes. And for this one, I'm gonna go with Python. So you do dash dash build type like this, and then you're gonna need to provide Ament underscore, and here I'm gonna press tab, okay, not enter, I'm gonna press tab twice. And you can see we have two choices. We have Ament CMake and Ament Python. We're gonna go with Ament Python. So what is Ament? Ament is the build system, okay? Colcorn is the build tool that we have installed, and that's gonna use the build system named Ament. So Ament Python for a Python package, Ament CMake for a C++ package. Great, so now we have a name, we have the build type, and I'm gonna add dependencies. So dash dash, dependencies, and the dependencies are basically other packages and functionalities that we are going to need to use in this package. And so here I'm just gonna write rclpy, okay? What is rclpy? We're gonna see that when we write the node actually. This is the Python library for ROS2. So because we're going to write Python code, we need, of course, to use the Python library. And so that's why I add it here as a dependency and more on that later in the crash course. So now I can press enter. And you can see we have some logs with a lot of stuff, but let's actually just see. So let's do clear and let's see what we have. You can see we have a new folder named my robot controller. And to navigate inside this, let's actually use Visual Studio Code or you can use any text editor you want, but I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code. So to install it, let's do sudo snap install code dash dash classic. Okay, so now I have uh, Visual Studio Code. That was just the line to show you how to install it on Ubuntu. And also in the following tutorials, I'm gonna show you how to configure Visual Studio Code to run with ROS2 so you can write nodes with auto completion and everything. But for now, let's just come back to this package and let's do code dot inside the source directory of the workspace. 
Okay, so do I trust? Yes, I trust the authors because that's me. Okay, and this is what we have here in VS Code. So you have the source folder and inside we have my robot controller. So if I click, I expand and this is what I have in the package, my robot controller. So everything here has been generated automatically. So let's do a quick tour of that. So first let's go to package.xml. This file will be in every ROS2 package. So that's an XML file, as you can see, and it contains the name of the package. You can also precise a version number, a description, also your email, uh, if you are a maintainer and you are publishing the code and the license. Okay, so all of that will be useful if you decide to publish your package. So for example, if you want to publish on GitHub or in the official ROS2 repository, you will need to fill those informations. Then we have here, you can see the dependencies and we have depend with RCLPy. This is what we have provided as a dependency in the command line. So anytime your package, so anytime the my robot controller package depends on another package, you're going to add another depend line here, just after that one. Then we have some more stuff and you can see we have also aimant python for the build type. So that's a python package. Then we have setup.cfg. This file, you're not going to touch it. It's just to help uh, Rust to know where are going to be installed the nodes. And then setup.py. And here you have things that are similar to the package.xml, for example, the name, the version, the maintainer, the email, the description, the license. Okay. And we are going to come back to this because actually in the entry points, that's where we're going to precise where actually to install the Rust to nodes, but more on that later. Okay. So you have different configuration files here. Then you have a test folder we're not gonna go into that for now a resource folder okay just leave it like this and we have this folder my robot controller so actually this folder will be the same name as your package name okay that's always gonna be the same name and that's very important and inside you have an init.py okay and that's actually inside this folder that we are going to create our ROS2 nodes okay now let's come back to the terminal and let's go back one folder back to the ROS2 workspace folder. Okay, very important to go to this folder exactly. And we are going to build this package. So let's do call con build, press enter. Okay, and you might see this. Okay, so maybe the build will be successful. In this case, you can just skip a few seconds of the tutorial, but maybe you will also have an error like that. And this is because of the setup tool Python package that's not working correctly here. So I'm just going to show you now how to fix that. So let's go into that terminal and let's use PIP3. Let's do list. And well, if you don't have PIP3, you can do sudo apt install python3 PIP. Okay, let's install it. Okay, now let's do PIP3 list for all the uh, packages and actually let's do a uh, pipe grep setup tools and you can see that here i have setup tools package with version that's the version number here 59.6.0 so if things are working correctly here you don't need to change anything uh, for this package but if things are not working correctly we will need to actually downgrade the version to the 58.2.0. So how to do that? PIP3 install setup tools equal equal sign with 58.2.0. Let's press enter. Okay, downloading, installing, and then let's go back to this command. PIP3 list grep setup tools. We have 58.2.0. So we have changed the version for the package. And now let's go back here. Let's do call con build and it should work. Okay, it's working correctly. You can see here call con build successful and one package finished, which is the my robot controller. All right, so once you see this success message, everything that's inside the package has been built. So for now we have no nodes, but if you see uh, in the install folder, you can see we have a my robot controller folder already. And so what's going to happen when you do call con build? Well, it's going to fetch all the nodes and stuff that you want to install from this package. And it's going to install it inside the 
install folder of the ROS2 workspace. And then from there, you will be able to use ROS2 command line tools, for example, with ROS2 run that we have seen before to start your own nodes. All right, so now we have fully ready to write some nodes. We have a ROS2 workspace that is correctly configured. We have also a package that is configured and we can start to write a ROS2 node with Python in the next tutorial. All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full course on ROS2 for beginners. This course contains more than 10 hours of content and will teach you everything you need to create complete ROS2 applications. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.